Hey, hello and welcome. I am Debbie Peterson of Getting to Clarity and this is the Getting to Clarity show where busy women leaders and those who are emerging or aspire to be in leadership come and get the tips, tools and techniques that they need to create more success in their leadership and life with less sacrifice. And today we are talking about borrowing belief which is something that I have figured out is a strategy and I've been doing for a long time. So it is a tool that I want to share with you to help you be surrounded and supported in taking the next step. So stay tuned. So here's why it's a good idea to borrow belief from others as a woman in business or an emerging leader in business, you know, because there are times throughout our life where we don't have enough. And when I say we don't have enough, uh, we want a new car, right? But we don't have all of the funds to purchase it. So we take out a loan. Uh, it could be that maybe we're buying a house and we have enough money for the down payment, but we don't have the whole purchase amount. So we take out a mortgage, right? And as a matter of fact, I would say that most of us usually expect to borrow money when making large purchases. And that is because they're socially acceptable practices and we can see the vision for what it is that we are investing in, right? But what about ourselves and moving forward? What about, to step into an area where you can play bigger, to stop hiding, to not be invisible. You know, sometimes we need just a little bit more to be able to move forward and borrowing belief from others is a way that we can do it until we find it in ourselves. So, you know, I remember when I uh, graduated from college and I started my first job as a secretary. And yes, that's what we called it back then, secretary. So I'm sure I'm dating myself, but I was the proverbial woman behind the man and I was really good at it. Like I was very comfortable um, in my role. And because of that, I thought, okay, this is what I'm meant to do. But it was interesting because the, the shoe fit so perfectly that I would have stayed there, but that is the exact time when my boss came to me and said, hey, there's a job on the board and I think you ought to bid on it. And it was a supervisory position and that is not anything I ever would have pursued. It's not a direction I saw myself going in to be able to manage others. But because of his belief in me and my skills, I thought, okay, I will bid on the job. And I borrowed on his belief and I got the job. And what I found out was that I was good at that too. And so that was a turning point for me in my career and a shining example of what borrowing belief can do for a person, especially when you don't have it all, all that belief that you need in yourself. You know, I've come to realize that borrowing belief is a strategy and I have done it many, many times throughout my career, my business, my life. So it was when I left corporate to start my coaching business. It was when I stepped on a stage to do a keynote and found out that it was something that I was meant to do. When I speak from stage, I can reach more people. And uh, even as an introvert, borrowing on other people's belief as I built that speaking business. When I stepped into chair of the board for Athena International, I was borrowing on somebody else's belief. So what I've discovered is that it is a strategy. It's one that I have used and it's one that you can use too. It is a tool for you to feel less alone in making decisions to move you forward in your leadership and life. You know, especially now when you consider all of the labels being thrown about, right? We have the great resignation, we have the great retention, we have the she session. Um, and then I've even heard the great reshuffle and I'm sure that there are so many more because there is a lot of movement in the labor market. Now, all of this movement in the labor market can create uncertainty. And uncertainty requires that you have a certain amount of faith or that you're willing to take risks in your decision making. Because unfortunately, we don't have all of the information we need to make a decision and be sure of our choice. And when it comes to risk, 
women stereotypically tend to lag behind a bit. They tend to be more risk averse. So this is exactly the time that you need to use a tool like this now more than ever to help you move ahead. And you can do that with someone else's belief in you. And you may be thinking, okay, great, Debbie, I'm in, I'm all in, I buy it. How do I do this? Great question, because I'm going to share that with you next. So what could this strategy look like for you? I want to share some examples just to help get the ideas percolating for you. So the first example is to find a mentor. You know, mentoring is something that I believe is widely misunderstood. This is what I go through in my mentoring program. But a mentor is simply, keep it simple, when someone who is more experienced and knowledgeable helps to guide a less experienced or less knowledgeable person. That's it. So who is it that you know that has the wisdom that you want to tap into? Who has done it? Who do you admire? Whether it is a career mentor or a subject matter mentor, different kind of mentor. Uh, it could be part of group mentoring. It could be part of mentoring moments. These are all different kinds of, of mentoring, ways that mentoring can happen. Um, you know, how can you bring a mentor into your life so that you are going with others to help figure out your next steps. So creating a, a mentoring relationship. Also creating a advisory council or board of directors. Doesn't that make you feel important? I had a conversation this week with a brilliant woman who works in financial services and she spoke of her advisory council. And I thought, now, isn't that interesting? And so what this is, is a group of people, male and female, that uh, she surrounds herself with and they give her guidance. They give her her time, expertise and guidance to make decisions about next steps in her business. And she has purposely selected these individuals to help bring her vision to life. You know, so I think that is uh, that is great for me. I have a board of directors and again, I have males and females that I have invited into a capacity, a certain capacity in my business to help me make decisions, to give me input. And, uh, you know, because different people have different gifts and so bringing them in so that they can share their perspective. That way I know that I'm making a more educated or well-rounded decision in my speaking and coaching business so that I can keep serving amazing people like you. So who do you know that you can tap into their wisdom and their advice and, you know, just have more information to consider when making decisions who can help you move forward with your eyes wide open and make more educated decisions. Another idea for borrowing on someone else's belief is to seek your champion or cheerleader. Who is it that uh, may be in your life that isn't necessarily tied to your industry or business? They could be, but maybe not, but that flat out supports you. This could be close friends or family. For me, it is my husband. Uh, I think my husband has a little bit of an idea of what it is that I do. Uh, he has never seen me speak on stage and uh but he is there as my cheerleader you know he is my biggest champion and he reminds me to have fun when i get too serious or i get too focused and yes that is a thing to get too focused so think about that who can be your champion or cheerleader and being able to tap into that to talk to somebody about what it is that you're thinking of doing Another way to borrow on someone else's belief is to get a coach. Far too often, we are in our heads exclusively, and that is when we tend to get in our own way. We recycle these thoughts that we have that don't support us, kind of like um, on a hamster wheel. We're just kind of in that same space of, and we're limiting our vision because of this limited thinking. So when in fact you need your answers to percolate to the surface, your answers. So you, you don't need to look outside of yourself for what you need. It's already inside of you. Your answers are inside of you. And, you know, coaching is a way where you can have someone ask you the questions that you wouldn't think to ask yourself so that you can uncover your own answers. 
And coaching allows you to make decisions within that relationship. So it allows you to be accountable for those decisions. And it's a relationship that is designed exclusively to support you. So, um, you know, it can support you with belief, support you with accountability, ideating, you know, getting clarity on things, many things. So depending on the kind of coach you are looking for. And if I can support you, just hit reply or message me and let's talk and see what that may look like. Another way that you can borrow on belief of others to make bigger next moves in your business, your career, or your life is to join a mastermind. Ooh, masterminds are so powerful. You know, you've heard the phrase that many hands make for light work. Well, in a mastermind, it's many minds make light work. It is a group, a mastermind is a group of two or more people that are like-minded, that are coming together with the intent of being supported, but also to support the group. So the support goes both ways. And it's kind of like that rising tide lifts all boats mentality. And these are such a key element to my success and what it is that I've been able to do that I belong to two masterminds. And I also run them as part of my business because they are definitely a success component for my clients. And I run them for corporate clients as well, because there is power when you get different people in a room with a like-minded outcome. It magic happens. I cannot explain why it just does. You'll have to trust me on that. So they are worth every second that you invest in them, in my opinion. So I hope that these strategies will have you thinking differently about yourself, about your potential and about your influence and how you can borrow belief of others to help you get exactly what it is that you desire. So until the next time, here is wishing you all the clarity that you deserve and the belief as well. And if you would like a free resource to help you get clarity on some of your next steps in your career, your business, your life, then uh, go to the five day career clarity workbook. There you go. Five day career clarity workbook and uh, take a dance through that. Answer some of those questions. Get clarity on your way forward. And if I can be of good service to you, let me know. So until the next time, bye bye for now.